welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today is friday actually and i haven't really vlogged too much this week so you would have seen from tuesday i got my blood work done again and i was able to look at the results myself on tuesday night and my levels are continuing to drop and that was very discouraging so i ended up calling my oncologist on wednesday because she hadn't called me and then on thursday i hadn't heard anything back so then on thursday i actually had to go to the hospital because i had an appointment at the cancer hospital which i'll get into um, after this little story so I had an appointment there, so after that appointment, I went actually to the clinic where my oncologist is and I asked like the front desk if they could tell her to give me a call. So she ended up giving me a call and basically I asked if I need a blood transfusion and she said, do you want a blood transfusion? And I said, sure i'll just have a blood transfusion it's kind of like i had to make the decision to have a blood transfusion but anyways um so we actually arranged it so i'm having a blood transfusion at the hospital where i live so i don't have to go all the way to toronto for a blood transfusion because i still have a doctor at the hospital my local hospital that referred me to the cancer hospital in Toronto so they're gonna do the blood transfusion there but it's probably gonna be sometime next week I'm not sure yet they still have to call me and tell me when that's gonna be so chemo's cancelled again um, it was supposed to be on Monday the 20th but it is cancelled because my levels like I said are continuing to go down so it's been another tough week but I'm hopeful now that I have the blood transfusion planned that that will help increase my levels because my oncologist did say that my levels are dropping because of the pelvic radiation and i guess like it's not surprising that that's happening but it is surprising in another way that it's continuing to drop and it hasn't gone back to normal so i think if i hadn't have suggested the blood transfusion i probably would be waiting again to see if they'd go up and I just don't want my levels to fall too low and then end up in the hospital again so I have to go for blood work again in two weeks to see if the blood transfusion worked and if my levels are going back up and I can restart chemo so fingers crossed and then also as I mentioned I had another appointment yesterday at the cancer hospital they have this survivorship program which i went and saw a physiatrist which is a doctor that practices like physical medicine and they're creating a plan for me i'm actually going to do some rehabilitation so some physical therapy at one of the neighboring hospital sites and i am going to be doing that so they're referring me to that program and then after that they're going to refer me to receive one-on-one -on -one sessions with a kinesiologist who's going to tailor some bit of an exercise program for me which i feel like i've needed for such a long time and i know i've wanted to get back into yoga and that kind of stuff but like i don't want to push myself and they did say that there's been a lot of studies that show that exercise can help with fatigue so hopefully it does and like i said i'm glad to have this one-on-one -on -one support so i know i won't be pushing myself too much and like they can keep an eye on me but they want me to do the physiotherapy physical therapy before i do that and they said too like if chemo starts to when i restart chemo if i start to feel worse then they can postpone this kind of stuff but i'm really glad to have this sort of thing in place and then also i am supposed to be seeing an occupational therapist one-on-one -on -one to talk about sleep and sleep habits and all that kind of stuff and energy conservation so i'm looking forward to that because i think that's going to help me because like i said in the last vlog if you haven't watched it 
I've been struggling with sleep, specifically getting to sleep, and I just find that my thoughts race before night and it's like really hard for me to get to sleep and I feel like I do all of my thinking right before I go to sleep, so that'll be good. And also with the energy conservation, I'm finding that I have most of my energy towards the beginning of the day and then towards like lunch or even before lunch some days I am pooped right out and I can't do anything so I think that'll be really good for me and then also I went to the other hospital that I've been referred to for all of my thyroid things so if you're new to my channel and you don't know they found a thyroid nodule on my right thyroid that's why there's a band-aid here so they did a biopsy back in may i believe what is it now september maybe it was june or august somewhere in the summer and they did the biopsy and it came back as follicular cells of undetermined significance so that means could be suspicious could not be suspicious so they wanted to repeat it again in a few months so that's what i went yesterday to get a repeat thyroid biopsy and the doctor that i have there the surgeon that did it she said the ultrasound didn't look too suspicious so she's gonna call me within the next three weeks it usually takes three weeks but she said if it comes back earlier that she will let me know and she'll call me so i am just waiting for that and yeah that was yesterday i was going to vlog a little bit more yesterday but honestly i was just really tired and my appointment my first one was at 8 30 so i had to get up at the crack of dawn which actually it was like 6 45 i had to get up so not really the crack of dawn but or no we had to leave here at 6 45 yeah so i haven't been awake that early in a really long time and then the thyroid biopsy wasn't until 2 p.m so i fell asleep on the way home and then when i came home i laid down and had another nap and i didn't want to wake up but i had to wake up because it was only like five o'clock so <laughs> yesterday was very tiring but Today is looking a little bit better. I did some crafty things and now in three minutes I have a meeting. So after the meeting, I will update you again and show you what I did today. But yeah, let's go to the meeting. So I finished my meeting and that was only 10 minutes. It was a meeting because actually I am invited to speak at a university, the University of Toronto. There's a club that they focus on a different rare disease every month and they have presentations to raise awareness and all that kind of stuff so I am actually going to be a patient speaker about myasthenia gravis so that call was just to organize when it's going to be what kind of things they want me to talk about so that's probably happening the first or second week I think the second week of October so that will be exciting but i thought i would just show you now what i've been doing all day so i think i mentioned in the last video that i wanted to get more into like journaling but more of more of like a creative journaling sort of idea so i do want to do a more creative like book journal like a book bullet journal but today i started more of like a life journal so i'll just show you what i did so i actually so this is actually a bullet journal and i tried to do like the traditional bullet journaling a couple of years ago yeah i think it was 2019 i was like look, watching bullet journal youtube videos and i thought oh i want to do that and i tried it and it just wasn't really working for me i felt like it took way too long and like i'm not really someone that loves to draw everything out i guess i'm more of like a scrapbook sort of person and maybe draw something here or there i have been watching this one girl on youtube her name is 
journal with Chloe. She also has a booktube channel as well. I've been obsessed with her videos, but she inspired me to do this kind of life journal. So here's the first page. And I printed out these little pictures. I actually got this little mini photo printer and it's a lot of fun to use. And it doesn't use any ink. You just buy like the little um, photo pages and it just prints right out. So I printed a couple pictures of me. This is one I made for my Instagram. So I save like a lot of like little things to scrapbook. Let's say like you get a tag or I don't know, like a sticker or something. And I, I save those, but there's sometimes I don't want to make a full scrapbook with something. So I thought having this journal, I can just do whatever I want whenever I feel like it. So back before my birthday, my friend Chelsea actually got me an Indigo gift card and I bought some books and that's what got me back into reading. And I put the little like shipping labels that they sent because I ordered them online that they sent and then I just printed with my little printer the covers of the books that I got and then I had these little star stickers and then I just wrote about how Chelsea helped me get back into reading and then just a little bit of a blurb about the book like I said I want to do like a full just like book um, bullet journal sort of situation but I read these books a long time ago so and I had all these little things so I just wanted to document it in this journal so I think it turned out really nice and then I voted last week because if you're not from Canada we're having a federal election so Canada-wide election so I voted the other day through mail-in because I didn't want to go to one of the uh, polling stations just being immunocompromised and everything going on so I just documented that and this was the envelope one of the envelopes I got in the mail I had to like put it in three envelopes and I just printed out this meme because I just thought it was really funny so they're comparing like some of the leaders of the parties like how much they spend on their watch <laughs> and my great uncle he's really funny he commented my watch is $40 <laughs> so I just thought that'd be funny to put that in there and then when I had my thyroid biopsy I just took a picture of the tray that they had. I don't know if you can see the two big needles that they had to put. And then this was like on my patient portal, just like of like where the appointment was in the hospital. And then I took this picture after the biopsy. So if you do wanna see me do like journal with me videos, or if you think that would be relaxing or interesting to watch, just let me know. It's just this actually brought me a lot of joy and I was having a little bit of stress today just trying to figure out if I could do the blood transfusion here or not but it's all gonna work out and I have pizza tonight Fridays are usually our pizza night and probably watch a movie and yeah that's pretty much it oh the other thing I wanted to mention one last thing I know I'm being very very chatty but I hesitated whether or not I wanted to do this. I've been going back and forth, but I think I am just because some people have asked me in the comments. And so I don't have a PO box right now. It's not really in the budget right now, but hopefully in the future I can get a PO box, but right now it's just not, like I said, in the budget but i have been seeing that some people share like an amazon wish list in their description and you can send somebody something from their wish list like without knowing their address because i do trust my subscribers but anybody can watch a youtube video and 
if you share your address they can get your address and come to your house so i don't want that to happen so i am going to share an amazon wish list of books and also a couple of stationary things if you do want to send me a book or something off the wish list but please don't feel like you have to all your comments mean the world to me and that is all i need the only reason why i am putting it in the description as an option is i know that like i said before there have been at least four people maybe more have asked in the past if i do have a p.o box and i thought maybe that this would be a, b a better alternative in the meantime because i don't have a p.o box if you did want to send me something but please don't feel the pressure or feel like you have to send me something honestly your comments just make my day so much i've been getting some messages here and there private messages some on my youtube channel of people sharing their cancer story sharing their mental health journey sharing very personal things and confiding in me and saying that my videos are really helping them through hard times and that it help that my videos help them and they really enjoy my videos which honestly just makes my day and it warms my heart to know that people actually like watching these videos and when i did start my youtube channel i just kind of wanted to do it as like an outlet and also to raise awareness about this type of rare cancer. Sorry about that, I just got off the phone and I am having my blood transfusion on Monday, so that's all sorted. But what I wanted to continue to say is, again, please don't feel obligated to send me anything. Your sweet comments, kind comments, encouraging comments are more than enough. I just wanted to give that option if anybody wanted to. But thank you for all of your support and like I said, when I first started this channel, like I wasn't really expecting a whole lot. I just wanted to raise awareness for the type of cancer that I have and hopefully let somebody else know that they're not alone. And I just feel like I've gotten so much more from this and, you know, making my videos and everything is really therapeutic for me and really cathartic too because it's kind of like a journal entry but me just like talking to a camera about things that have been going on because sometimes I don't really feel like writing things down and it's also a way to communicate with you know family and friends so I don't have to type the same thing over and over again but then also I have made such there's been such a community of people that I didn't know before all of this that I feel like are my friends and check up on me every week and we're all over the place, we're all over the world which I think is just really cool so thank you everyone for being so kind and for watching my videos and really supporting me so I think we're gonna have pizza soon and then I think I'm gonna continue this vlog into the weekend and see what I get up to. Cheers to the blood transfusion. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> I gotta get my beer. <laughs> so it's Saturday now and it's pretty late in the afternoon so I woke up and I wasn't feeling the greatest and I had a shower and then that kind of tired me out so I've just been laying and resting, reading watching a couple YouTube videos and then I just went to Michael's because yesterday when I was doing my little books and scrapbooking and sort of that kind of thing I ran out of like the roll adhesive tapes and I used to get them at the dollar store but the one the last one that I got it kind of unraveled and it was really hard to use so I just threw it out so I wanted to go to Michael's because they sell ones that are refillable so less waste and probably better quality so I'm hoping that they're good so I got a four pack of the the rollers and you just refill them and these are the refills so I'm going to try this first and see if I like them and we kept the receipt in case I don't like them and I can return the refills but they should be fine. 
Um, and also, I finished my book finally. It feels like I've been reading this book forever, but I finally finished Graceling. So when I first started this book, I was really enjoying it, really liked the beginning of the story, but then I felt towards halfway, it was kind of dragging on. And I kind of wish that there was, it's like a fantasy romance sort of thing, but there wasn't a lot of romance or cute kind of scenes and I kind of wish there was more of that. But it was still a pretty good book and there are two other companion novels. One is Fire and apparently that's more of like a prologue of before like this story happens. And then Bitter Blue is like a continuation of this story but I don't know if it's like five years in the future. So if I see these other two books at like a used bookstore, I'll probably pick them up, but yeah, it wasn't my favorite and it was a little bit disappointing that it was like kind of slow, but I still read it and I still think it was pretty good. Also, I don't think I really felt that connected to the characters either, which was probably another reason why like it wasn't my favorite, but I think it was a good way to like step into fantasy sort of books, so that's the book I read and I think I'm going to finish that other book that I was talking about in last week's vlog that I paused on because I wasn't really into reading like a romance. It's called Anna and the French Kiss so I think I'm going to continue that and hopefully that won't take me too long. I don't think it will. That's the update for today. I think I might extend this vlog to Monday when I do the blood transfusion. I'm not sure yet, but I'm just resting right now because today's been kind of a tiring day and now I'm tired since I went to Michael's, but rest is important and is much needed through all of this. So it's Sunday now and I woke up feeling kind of off but I FaceTimed my friend Teresa this morning and that made me feel a bit better and now I am just in my craft space and I want to sort through the pictures that I got printed for my Cancer Journey scrapbook and then maybe I can film the first part of that next week maybe or maybe even today, who knows? But I think that's what I want to do right now. I also have to go outside and take another picture for something so yeah, blood transfusion is tomorrow so hopefully that gives me some energy and I can restart chemo soon again because waiting's just really tearing me down. Just 
separated them into piles and then I put sticky notes on each of the categories. So the fertility, just have them sectioned off so I know how many pictures approximately per each category I have. And then I wrote down on this piece of paper the different scrapbook spreads pages that I wanted to have. And then I also noticed that there's a couple of pictures that I really want, like for some reason the ringing bell or the ringing the gong photo I didn't get printed for some reason, I don't know why. And then I'm also asking if I can get some of my scans that I can put in here as well, so that's what that's looking like. This bed that I'm in feels too big without you. Don't know how to quit thinking about you. Those green eyes, sweet lips, your hands on my hips, our puzzle pieces fit. These sheets, your smell. Can't be by myself I'm asking for your help What I need you to do is Love me Love me What I need you to do is Love me So I'm home now. I finished the blood transfusion and it went good. I ran into my ex-boyfriend again which was a little awkward and very random like really random and I guess he works in security now at the local hospital so it's also very random that he was in the chemo center but anyways so I had my blood transfusion and I also spoke with my gynecologist oncologist who did my hysterectomy and she's been my point of contact at the local hospital and she's been in contact with my sarcoma oncologist at the hospital in Toronto and they've come to an agreement that I am going to be going to my local hospital every two weeks. I'm going to be going to my local hospital every two weeks for blood work to keep monitoring it. I think even regardless of whether or not I go for chemo or not. And if my hemoglobin especially falls below 80, then I'm going to have to do more blood transfusions. But hopefully that's not the case. But I'm glad that they're being monitoring me and they're being proactive about it. And that that weight is off of my shoulders, knowing that they're taking care of all of that. And I don't have to worry about that. Because I was starting to feel like it was almost my job in a way to like schedule all this blood work and me like checking my levels too to make sure that they're high enough and it's just been stressful like to deal with all of the side effects and everything from treatment and then also feeling like I'm responsible for all of that other stuff so I feel better now about that and hopefully this blood transfusion helps me out and my levels go back to normal but I thought I would end off the vlog here and thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. But with that all being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.